Hello there, welcome back to my bench once again. And in this tutorial I decided to tie up a dry this time, and this guy is the uh, Dark Hendrickson. You're probably familiar with them, a good fly to use during the Hendrickson hatch. So I give this guy a tie for you. So I'll get this guy out, a fresh hook in, and we'll get started going here. Okay, the hook is a must head 94840 standard, size 12, dry fly. We'll get him locked down in the vise here. Just like so, there we go. Right there is good. And thread of choice, I'm using UTC 70 in a in like a tannish gray color. So I'm going to start that right behind the eye here. We're going to wrap back about halfway. And we're going to come back up halfway onto that and stop our thread there. Snip off this tag. Okay. Now for the wing, I have some wood duck flank feather here ready prepared. I'm going to roll those together in my fingers and pinch them together for the wing. I'm going to tie that on top here. Okay, so I'm going to place that in, get my wing measurement, about hook shank length, and then I'm going to come up, then come down with a pinch loop, snug that down, wrap back a few wraps, and forward again, stop our thread right there. And I'm going to snip that off on a nice shallow angle there. Okay, now we're going to lift our wing butts up here, our wing fibers, and make a little thread dam right in front. I'll stand that wing up for us, just like so. Now, a little trick that I like to use that works most of the time is take my thumbnail and just push down on those. And most times you'll get an even bunch on each side. Then we're going to divide them. Okay. I'm going to make one thrap, a couple crisscross wraps through them first, just to get them divided for us. A couple wraps like so. There we go. Then I'm going to come in and do a figure eight around the base of these wings two to three times, just to bring those bunches together on each side. Then once I do that, I'm going to pull down slightly, and then I'm going to come in between the wings and make some crisscross wraps. Do that two to three times. And pull down snug. And that should have your wings set in place for you. Just like so here. You see a few fibers you're not happy with. I usually just take my scissors and trim them out while you can. If it doesn't look good to you. Okay, there's our wings split. Okay. Okay, next step. What I like to do, you can use hit cement, but I like to take a little bit of uh, UV resin bone dry and I'm going to go right down the middle of those wings for a little drop, just like so here. Okay, there we go. Just going to try to just get these wings placed the way I want them here. That looks pretty good there. Okay, now we're going to give that a little shot of the light. Just to cure that up. Takes a couple seconds here. There we go. Okay, our wings look pretty good now, so... We're ready to uh, tie in our hackles. Okay. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to wrap back first, tie these wing butts down, come back to above the bar up here, and we're going to tie in our tail. And it's some dark done hackle fibers. Just going to pull some of them down for the tail here. Just like so. Keep your tips even on the end. Bring that in. I want that shank length so we'll measure that up and we'll come in and place that on top just like so here I'm gonna wrap that back to above our barb just like so there we go and I'll come in and snip those off to meet the wing butts that I tied off there on the wing want those to meet touch one another here and we'll wrap back on that just like so then we'll come back and we're ready to attach our dubbing. 
Okay. Okie dokie. Now, get some wax on the thread here. And we want a slight taper on this guy, so just start it with some sparse dubbing and then a little thicker towards the end of the noodle. Just like so here. Okay. And we're going to begin to wrap our body. I want that first dry placed right in front of my tail here. Just like so. Then we're going to move forward. Keep in mind of your taper. You want to taper on this guy. Thicker towards the wings. Just like so here. There we go. That's fine. Let's trim out those guard hairs. You got any that are sticking out there? Okay. Got a few more there I want to snip out. There we go. There's our body. Okay, next we're ready for our hackles. And I have two dark done hackles here prepared and ready to tie in. And we're going to tie those in right behind the wing on about a 45 degree angle. Right where our body ended there is where we want them. Tie those down. Wrap towards your wing. And then wrap in front. Just like so. Wrap those hackle stems down good and snug. And we want a nice smooth base to wrap our hackle on. So then I'll snip off these excess tips here. Then we'll wrap forward. Okay. Now we're ready to tie in our hackle, or excuse me, wrap our hackle. So, get my hackle pliers here and I'll come in. And I'll take this first hackle and we'll begin to wrap. Grab a hold of him with my hackle pliers. Just like so here. Okay. Here we okay, just keep wrapping towards the wing here. One wrap right in front of the other. Just like so. Do you get right to the close to the wing? And once you do, jump in front. Right square in front of the wings there. Nice and tight. And just keep wrapping forward. Just like so here. Okay. And come up. And I'm going to tie this guy off. Make my two wraps behind my hackle stent tip. And then I'm going to wrap back on him a little. Lock him in place. And I'm going to come in. Snip him out of there securing wraps and snip off any errant fibers you got there okay there's our first tackle tied or excuse me wrapped in okay just gonna adjust that wing a little bit here there we go okay now have a hold of our second hackle here same deal bring him up and the second hackle you always want to uh, Zigzag that back and forth so it doesn't trap any. Uh, let's get another grip on them here. Trap any fibers from your first tackle. Okay, here we go. Now just give that a little zigzag motion as you go. My pliers are giving me a hard time. Try that once again. Okay, there we go. And just keep zigzagging that back and forth. Proceed forward once again. Then jump in front of that wing. And then just make sure you wiggle your hackle back and forth. So it doesn't trap any of those fibers down on you. Okay. And we're going to tie this guy off right here. Come down, a couple wraps. Snug down. Then we're going to wrap, and wrap back on him a little bit there. Secure them down good and snug. Snip off that tip just like so. Yeah, I see a few errant fibers here I want to snip out. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to make a few wraps here to secure that down good. Build a little hit on this guy. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my half hitch tool. Throw in a couple half hitches. Snug that down, good tight. Okay. Now I'll bring the whip finish in and do a whip finish on this guy. Snip off your excess thread. There we go. Okay. And if you have any fibers there you want to go your way. If you trap one or two down, just snip that out. There we go. Now I want to take a little bit of bone dry once again. thread wraps on the head of this guy just like so here there we go okay so we'll cure him up real quick here is that with the light there we go there so there's another size 12 Dark Hendrickson Mayfly. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if so, and you'd like to see more flies, you know, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see more. And uh, throw in a like too, if you wish. So once again, I want to thank you very much for watching my tutorials. I appreciate it a lot and <clears throat> I'm going to sign out for now and I hope you enjoyed this video and happy tying everyone I'll see you again soon uh, so long for now folks